Ohana VC6 fans, this is Jack Rowland coming to you live from somewhere in the North Carolina mountains. We've had quite a few people who are struggling with uh, how to compress their video files, so I thought it might be helpful for me to put together a little how-to video showing you how to use Handbrake. Handbrake is one of the tools we recommended for you. It is available for both the Mac and PC. It's very easy to use as long as someone has shown you how to use it, and I'm going to do that right now. So when you launch Handbrake, you'll notice that there's no video in the little colored screen there, and up in the left-hand corner, you'll see Open Source. Click on that, and it'll take you to a dialog window asking you to find your file, your video file that you recorded for the project. You select that file, and then down in the lower right-hand corner, you're going to press Open, or you can hit the Return key. Now you'll notice that, boom, a video is going to pop into that window. Oh, who is that? Some guy in a funny bee hat. Yeah, I know that's not an official video, and it's me in a hat, and the background's not clean. It was a video I had around from when I was making memorization videos for a concert uh, at Carnegie Hall uh, a couple of years ago when I sang with Eric. So um, I thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing it. Anyway, there's my video file. And then up in the upper left there, you're going to see my file. And then you're going to see underneath there a little uh, area that says preset. Now under preset you're going to select general and then you're going to select fast 720p30. So you click on that and then select general and then fast 720p30. Just below there under format you're going to pick mp4. Okay. Now, down at the bottom, you're going to see that your file is there. Um, that might be empty, too, for you. And then you click on the Browse button, and you will select a place where you're going to save the compressed file. Now, I like to save everything on the Macintosh on the desktop. I don't know. You can save it in a folder or wherever you'd like. But uh, once you select the spot, you would click Choose, and then it'll show you where you're going to save it. Now before you save the file, you need to rename it because if you don't rename it, it'll want you to overwrite the original, which you don't want to do. So I just added compressed to the file name and then again I selected uh, my spot where I'm going to save it and then I just hit the little green play button up at the top and it starts compressing. You'll see a progress bar down at the bottom there, that blue bar. At the top, that green button, it looks like a, a triangle, like a VCR button, and it's green, and then it turns red when you start compressing. And then it'll give you a little countdown, it'll tell you how long it's going to be until it's done. And when it's done, it'll just go, ding, I'm done. Um, so now your compressed file is saved on the desktop, for me, on the Macintosh. Okay, so now, the only other thing you need to do is check the size of the file. So on a Macintosh, you would control click on the file and choose Get Info to see the size of the file. And on a Windows uh, PC, you would do a right click on the file and then look at the properties to see the size of the file. And that's it. That's the file you send in for the project. Now for those of you who want to use uh, one of the compression tools we have on the Frequently Asked Questions document right on your phone, those are very easy to use too, um, and they usually come with instructions built right in. Or you can use something like Google Drive or Dropbox to send your file from your phone to your Macintosh or PC, and then use Handbrake to compress the file and send it right from your desktop computer or your laptop computer um, into the project. Okay? So if you have any questions, find me on Facebook or ask one of the uh, great people. There's been a lot of great people on there helping. Or if you're really stuck, send me a DM and I will get to you as soon as I can. And uh, good luck everybody. Ohana and I'll see you on Facebook.